what's going on youtube it's me honey be back to deliver another day to buzz for you guys welcome to my new subscribers welcome back to my return subscribers my day ones those of you who have been rocking with me since the beginning you guys even in the events of my absence i appreciate you all so much i wouldn't be able to do what i do without you guys um cross watchers you are welcome here as well if you just so happen to stumble across our channel and you see something that you like or here feel free to join our colony by hitting the subscribe button down below you guys also check the description box for um booking information if you would like to per purchase a personal reading with me my contact information is listed down below as always tell a friend to tell a friend you guys we're going to go ahead and see what messages the universe with spirit has for us on today. Um, asking the universe, our angel ancestor guys, to keep us protected. Keep me protected as I deliver these messages. Keep you all protected as you receive them. Well, these are general messages. Do not make a situation fit if it does not fit um, your circumstances. Um, these are general. Take what resonates. Leave what doesn't for someone who needs to hear the messages, okay? Um, I thought we would go ahead and go into Karmicville today with the Karmic 411 deck by Fire Tarot. Um, this is for those of you who who have been separated from your soulmate, your counterpart, and they have taken up with the Karmic, or if you feel like a third party is involved in your connection, this is going to be a reading for you all, you guys, um, for whoever, y'all. So... I know some some of you just watch the readings, whether it involves your situation or not. You're welcome here as well. First card out is forced. She forces me to go everywhere with her. Okay, you guys. So this is um the karmic. This is this is like a karmic situation, a karmic connection where um like it's 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 forced. It's more to meet the eye with these two people. Like, these are some people. This is a, a situation, a couple that they look happy on the outside. But behind closed doors, these two are king and queen of swords. Like, they're drawing swords at one another. Um, This person this person is saying that they feel forced by this karmic to go everywhere with them. I also hear, like, um, you know, if they post up for social media, like, the pictures are forced. With you, you, It's almost like you can tell. Like, you can see it in this person's face. Man or woman, you guys, these readings are not gender-based. We house both masculine and feminine energy. Play with the roles. Put yourself where you, where it fit, okay? It says we both feel trapped in this karmic cycle and fail to break free from them. So these, this is two people that are holding on to each other. Um, because I feel like they may have been together for a long time. Or um, they have investments with each other. Like... They could have money, you know, like when you've been to someone, of course, your money mixes like they have investments with each other. No one wants to lose out on this investment. But this is an energy I feel where um, I hear it's run its course. This is a connection between two people that have run its course, but these two are still holding on. Uh, it says I never have the opportunity. I never get the opportunity to have me time. I don't like this. It's becoming a major issue. Yeah, so this is back to this forced this forced mentality. Whoever this karmic is, your person is saying this person is saying that um they never get free time for themselves. Um it like I hear hound. They're showing me like a hound dog, y'all. Like this person may hound. This karmic hounds this person. Like they can't go anywhere alone. This person always wants to tag along. And don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with going where going places with your partner and you know enjoying each other's company but everybody everyone is entitled to free time time away it's like your person is under heavy surveillance they're showing me binoculars like this first this may be someone who checks this person's phone um like i said if this person leaves uh like goes to the store just the corner store or you know just goes around an errand like this will be someone that'll call five ten times in an hour time span just to check up on this person and see what this person is these two people this karmic doesn't trust this person this this karmic has insecurity issues may have trust issues and it may be something stemming from the relationship that this person has done or this could very well be this karmic it's because this karmic knows that they've done they have some things to hide too so you know they'll say like a um 
a cheater will cheat a liar will lie a thief will steal this is the kind of person that believes um this is this is someone that will project their insecurities onto another person maybe this karmic has stepped out or is stepping out and they're concerned when this person will i hear play the get back game or like this person the, this person may have cheated on this karmic right and this karmic stuck it out but yet there was resentment that grew it was like a big old ball like you know when you you roll a ball down like a snowball like as it rolls down it gains momentum the ball gets bigger and bigger and bigger this is their ball of resentment it says we don't we both don't care on pursuing our personal happiness right now. We're both just settling. So this is someone who's just there. There are two people that are just settling within their current situations. Like I said, th these people maybe have been together for a long time. Um, they could have investments like have grown businesses together. Um, properties are in place. They could have kids. You know, they built a legacy. These two people been, built a ten of pinnacles with one another. But, um there is is i also i hear like business transactions so if they don't have a business together like this their relationship is more transactional um than love centered like i hear like i keep hearing like it was over a long time ago it's run its course these are two people that have outgrown each other but these two are sticking it out they're saying they're keeping themselves tied to this connection it's saying we both feel trapped in this karmic and karmic cycle and fail to break free from it so both the karmic and this person are feeling the same way but these are two people that are just refusing to separate so at this point this late in the game this connection is for being forced between these two people like neither one of them wants to let go have you ever seen a meme y'all where there's this rope they have this rope tied around the wrist and it's just hanging there you know and like as it they hang like it just gets tighter and tighter and the blood just starts gushing gushing on the arm and it'll say um sometimes it it hurts more to hold on than letting go this is what's happening with these two these two or eventually if that they you know that the rope keeps getting tighter and tighter like it could cut right through right through your arm or you have to get your, your hand amputated like at one point like these two people are going to have to let go because it's going to be to the detriment of both of them i feel like agony like i'm getting a very heavy energy like these two people are overwhelmed this person is overwhelmed both of them are though you guys both both of them are both of them are I know you want what's best for me, but let me go through my karmic lessons, right? So I feel like you may have separated from this person or distanced yourself from this person because you understood that this person had a lot of karmic lessons to learn. But I feel like this person has been going, this person and this karmic have been going through these same, these same old mishaps for years. And it's because neither one of them is learning the lesson. Like, you know, sometimes, um, karm, this is what a karmic is. A karmic is a lesson, karmic lessons. Like karmics can be in a form of situations that you go through or lessons that the universe places on your path. They also come in a form of people. A karmic is someone who is sent to teach you a lesson. These two may have, may be karmics to each other. They were both meant to meet and learn certain lessons from one another. And these two were supposed to depart, but these two held on. You know, you can put yourself with people and then God can put you with people. These are two people that put themselves together, right? But they were only meant to learn lessons from each other. And then they were supposed to depart. But at this point, they're like tearing their arm off. They're tearing their hand off by trying to hold on to, to something that has run its course. Reach out to me through email so she won't know. So if you're in contact with this person, this may be how this person tries to get in contact with you. Like through emails or they want you to reach out to them through email. This is an energy of someone. This person wants to talk to you. If you're not talking to this person, this person wants to talk to you. And with email being here, so like this may be a business. This may be someone like that's in business, that's running a business that, you know, like that sends out. I hear mass emails, so they may send out mass emails. This could be like a business owner or a boss at a job. He or this person or the karmic, you guys. This is just messages that I'm picking up. If this doesn't resonate for your situation, don't take that message. Don't be in my comments hooping and hollering like, oh, that's not the truth and this and that. That's just not your part of the story, okay? Don't take that. What else? I feel like the, the lessons that this they were meant to um, learn with each other, they've learned the lessons. And this is why this connection is, is getting harder and harder to maintain. Because these are two people that... 
you know, so everything comes to an end. Nothing is meant to last forever. And I know this may not be something that you may want to hear. Um, if you are a karma girl cross watcher watch, watching this, like sometimes, you know, like people are, some people are only seasonal people. They're only meant to be in your life for a season. 10 on the clock, 10, 10, as I'm saying is like a, that's about, talks about completed cycles. People are only meant to be in your life for a season, you know, and then when the seasons change, People have changed, like, you know, like leaves change, you know, they, they fall, a tree regrows leaves, you know, like it's the same with people. Everyone isn't meant to be with you through all four seasons. It says, I get that you no longer want to put up with my karmic bullshit. You don't deserve this, right? And this is, uh, again, like I said, even if you're not in communication with this person, this person would like for you to reach out. But they're also saying, like, you would have to reach out into them in secret. If it's not through email, like, it could be, you know, like, I, I want to hear, like, this person may have a second phone that they communicate with you on. Or this is how you and this person would communicate. But I feel like you put a stop to this if this is someone that you have been dealing with. You know what I'm saying? But it, I also hear like it's very hard for this person to talk to you because they're under surveillance. They keep showing me these big ass binoculars are like bifocals, y'all. It says I want I wear a false mask around the karmic and I know she does too. It is what it is. It is what it is. This may be someone, a person that says this. Like they may use that phrase, it is what it is. But like it says, it falls right on top of force. Like I said, these are two people that are sticking it out. Um... Like these may like this may be a couple that people look up to. They've been in the public eye for a long time. This this couple is well known, but they're saying they she's I, I wear a false mask and a car around a karmic, and I know she does too. Like these per these people are sticking it out, you know. But I feel like neither one of them happy, or neither one of them are happy, and neither one of them want to be there any longer. This card also falls clarifies the force card, which force says she forces me to go everywhere with her. So at this point, these people, these two people are forcing themselves together. It's like you have a puzzle, a puzzle piece, right? And you're trying to make a, 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 a piece fit where it doesn't fit. This is what's going on in this connection. So also, as I said, this thing for the confirmation spirit. What else? My karmic relationship serves a higher purpose. Remember that next time you start lo losing hope for us. And it falls right on top of I know you want what's best for me. But let me go through my karmic lessons. This person has lessons that they need to learn to learn with this karmic. They had some scales that needed to be balanced out. This could be karma from a past life. Your person could have, you know, like, there's some karma karma from a past life. I hear your person, this person could have done something very sinister to this karmic or vice versa in a past life. And in this lifetime, these two were meant, and come to, meant to come together in connection in together toward each other to balance out this karma. These two people have to learn, had to learn lessons from each other. They had to learn lessons from each other. I also heard like people pleasing. So your person made the lesson with this karmic that this karmic was here to teach this person is that sometimes no matter what it is that you provide or you do for a person, something sometimes there is no pleasing other people. This person, this karmic was here to teach your person about people pleasing. Your person may be a people pleaser. They both may, they both may be people pleasers. Actually, this is a karmic soulmate. This is mirrored energy. These people both may have um, had to learn the lesson of people pleasing. I, I hear like this relationship is no longer serving this person. And this is because this person had their, the lessons have been learned. This is why this connection between these two people. And like I said, this could be, this could be, um, the connection that's not yours you guys or this could be a person that you are in connect a connection with like you may be enthralled with a karmic lover right and this is why the connection is becoming so hard to sustain because this connection has run its course at this point you two are both just settling what else spirit it served a purpose it served this purpose it served a higher purpose it was it was meant to be a catalyst for something for you for you two or those two it says fake posting karmic loves to post fake shit on social media about us just like what i said even the pictures that they post like i said you could almost see it in their faces that these two people are going through it there this car this situation is overwhelming these two people neither one of them are happy snoop she snoops on my social media activities to get info so yeah heavy surveillance like i said
binoculars they were showing me these binoculars there's masks all through these throughout this spread y'all these people are definitely wearing masks um toward each other they may also be going through tower moments at this time um what else tower moments the 15 thank you for the confirmation spirit 15 on the camera as i said this serious she's afraid to let me go so this karmic may have codependency issues your person may be a people pleaser and this person has insecurity issues this person may also these people may also suffer from abandonment issues like i said this could be the connection that's not yours or if you know if this person is involved involved with someone else or this could be your connection with this person because you know we 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 have a tendency to attract karmic relation karmic soulmates as well now because we all have lessons to learn and it says karmic vampires here my karmic is an is, is an energy vampire and feeds off my insecurities so like i said this person so one or both one person in the connection is um emotionally um, emotionally manipulative they're showing me queen of cups or king of cups in reverse so this person may prey on your 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 person's vulnerability your your um one of these people may have a savior's complex right so they know that all they have to do to get your person to bend to their will is become a damsel someone that needs to be saved and of course of course your person acts as the as the hero like this and this is where these people please and tendencies come into play or like they're showing me a superman like this person feels the need to put on their cape but this for the lesson this person hasn't learned is that you can't save everyone this may be you as well this may be someone i'm talking to they want you to know that you can't you can't save everyone it says my karmic likes to start arguments over you all the damn time i'm starting to believe she's obsessed with you right so whoever this is, y'all, man or woman, it says, it says, she, it reads she in the card. But karma can also be ma a male, a man. It can, most certainly. Um, So this person, like, uh, arguments may stem around, like, your name could be being brought up. And this is, like, even if you're not in the picture, you guys. So, like, whether you're involved in this person or not, or not, you know the situation better than me. Like I said, this karmic could have insecurity issues, which is why they bring you up in arguments. They'll start arguments about you. And I'm not saying you have to be involved with this person. This could be someone that you're not even involved with any longer. But I definitely know that this karmic knows about you. And like I said, you know, like right here, this person snoops on this person is because your person may have cheated on this karmic in the past. Like there could have been some infidelity that went on. Everything wasn't always 100 in this connection with these two people. Whether it be you and this person or this person and someone else. Like I said, you know the situation better than me. Unexpected in here. It's here, I'm sorry. Unexpected people, events, messages, travel, or situations. So this person may be reaching out to you so you can expect some communication with this person. I also hear telepathically, you guys. So if you have cut this person off from your energy, they may be telepathically trying to communicate with you. Um, when I say telepathically, I mean like you may hear songs that remind you of this person. Or like you may hear things that this person used to say like this cool what I said like it is what it is. This may be something that this person you know would re regularly say or shoot me an email or something like this. Like this is this is this person's way of energetically connecting with you. Um, expect this person to come to cut resurface. Um, you may run into this person somewhere at an event. Travel is here. You may bump into this person while you're out traveling. And like travel means like you don't have to be traveling um, cross country or from state to state. This could be like you getting in a car and traveling to your local Walmart. That's travel, right? That's a means of travel. Or you may be in a car. That's travel. Like, you know, travel going somewhere and this person will message you. It's something out of the blue. Like also with the tower moment. Like this person, if this person does communicate with you, you guys, this person may come in irrationally. Like almost like an in in a, a fit of rage, I hear like an argument. They're showing me someone frustrated, but keep in mind that this person is overwhelmed. Like, don't take this to heart because this person is really overwhelmed with the circumstances that they find themselves in right now. This person 
like they it, it will be projection this person will be projecting onto you and this will be a telltale sign if you don't know what this person is going through like behind the scenes and you run into this person if they seem agitated or they come at you forcefully or in a way that is not them this is because this person is overwhelmed with situations outside of the situation with you if there is one right um this past life soulmate you've had many past lives together so this is someone that you shared many past life lives with. And like I said, this karmic situation here, this karmic connection that they're in with this karmic vampire, this could be karma from a past life that had that rolled over to be balanced in this lifetime. This this had to be balanced. This karma had to be balanced in this lifetime between these two people. It says spiritual mission. This connection supports energy healing on Gaia and in other realms, in higher realms. So like they said, this connection served a higher purpose. It did. This karma connection, and like I said, if this is your connection or a connection outside of yours, it served a higher a, a higher purpose. It was it was to teach lessons. It was for the evolution of the people that that were involved in this connection, y'all. Dreams are here. Important dream messages are being given. So they want you to pay attention to your dreams at this time. The spirit may be sending you messages. I hear like if you wanted to know what's going on with this person. Also here telepathic communication. You may be seeing this person in your dreams. And you don't have to physically see them. Like you can hear their name in your dreams. Somebody saying their name. Or even if you don't see them. Like you can see. You can feel their energy around you. Like you may see their friends. Or places that they frequent. But you may not see them in a dream. That's because this person is. They're trying to penetrate your aura. This person is trying to communicate with you te telepathically. I hear get a message across. So this could be also be someone that also has to have the last word. Um, it says lessons of Uranus, radical attraction and sexual pull come with inconsistency and detachment. A theme of freedom or commitment. No expectations are, be are the best expectations to have. So this person is feeling a sexual pull towards you. This person is still magnetized towards you is what I hear. I hear no matter where you go or how, how long you two are not dealing with each other, this person could still, like, they still feel you sexually. So there is a lot of sexual tension um, that this person is sending your way. Some of you may be real horny lately. This is because this person is thinking about you sexually. They may also be pleasing themselves with, towards you. Um, thought patterns get out of your head and into your heart. Tr this is the truth. So this is like an ace of swords spirit is saying this is the truth. But I also feel like you know the truth about this connection with this person. They know the truth as well, y'all. They also know. It says a return of passions and play. Community is healing. Laughter, travel, and new things can respark your love life. Renew and adventure. So expect something to come back in. Like this person is wanting to come back in. And it's free will, y'all. Y'all can choose to re to to respark with this person, or you can choose to leave the cycle closed. I'm just a reader. We all have free will. What else, spirit? Let me see if I can get some tarot. Let me get some tarot. What else, spirit? What else? What else is this person? What else is this person dealing with? Deception is here. So someone in a connection. This karmic connection, someone may have stepped out or stepping out with Seven of Swords and Ace of Wands. They want to re-spark. This person may also want to re-spark with you here. But this is what they're being deceptive about. Like, they're trying to do this in secret. Um, it's because this person has not made a, a, a final judgment decision. Listen, whatever this person decides to do about this karmic connection here, it's going to break a lot of hearts. But I feel like this person is ultimately going to make the decision to aid a cup the situation. 80 i heard 86 it 86 it is like cutting out you guys like 86 that ass yeah the lovers here with this lovers connection this could definitely be someone that they're married to or on a long-standing commitment with because the shit is toxic with the devil it's a karmic connection this person is they haven't made do the decision to um cut it out just yet so this is why this person may be moving in silence and they may be frustrated. You guys, they're trying to work up a, a strategy. I hear a game plan with the hermit is here. They're thinking about it, right? This person is trying to move in silence. Also with the hangman, right? Because they want to come toward and heal the, heal the connection with you. This person is having hope that you two can still um, garner something after they're done with this karmic situation here. I hope this helps you. I'll see you next